this video, we're going to demo a new feature that's going to be available in Jeff 2.2, mainly the Android debuggers. So let's open our app. First, we're going to change layouts, switch to a debugging layout. Now we can open the project tree, open the bytecode. So this app is very simple. Native code is executed when a menu entry is clicked by the user. So first, let's start our debugger. You can see a list of devices and we're going to search for the app name, app check, found it, double clicking and we are attaching to this target. So the target has been attached. You can see two debugger nodes on the left hand side and the threads of the VM on the right hand side. Here's the method. We're going to set a breakpoint on the first instruction of it. And now I'm clicking the menu entry on the phone. So the blue line shows that the breakpoint has been hit and you can see the thread has been paused. So we set it as the main thread and now we have the ability to single step. So we're going to single step a couple of times till we reach our native code method invocation right here. You can see in the bytecode this method is native. Let's go back. All right. So now we can step into and seamlessly Jeb will switch units, switch to the appropriate native code modules, switch debuggers as well. So right here, you can see that the target is running on an ARM V7A processor. You can see the unit here. Let's rearrange the layout a little bit. So same as Dalvik, we have a code hierarchy and the assembly view. And the second debugger, we're opening it right here in the lower right hand corner of the screen. So that's single step on this ARM code. Now we can resume and we're back into the Dalvik code right after the method invocation. And we can single step again. The debuggers as well as the x86 and ARM processors will be made available in JAP 2.2, scheduled for release around the end of March 2016. Thank you for watching.